Here is today's featured headline in space. A proposal by the White House to break up a leading atmospheric science center would also have implications for space science. Today is December 30th, 2025, and you're listening to Space News First Up. Here are today's other top headlines. A French launch startup is looking into defense applications for its hybrid propulsion technologies. NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman appeared open to alternatives to moving the space shuttle discovery from a Smithsonian Museum to Houston. And Isaacman reportedly got a second chance to become NASA Administrator thanks to efforts by Vice President J.D. Vance. First Up is produced by Space News, the industry standard for professional space journalism. Visit spacenews.com for breaking news, policy updates, and original analysis. We begin today with news that a proposal by the White House to break up a leading atmospheric science center would also have implications for space science. The White House earlier this month directed the National Science Foundation to dismantle the National Center for Atmospheric Research, NCAR, in Colorado, citing what one official called the woke direction of UCAR, the organization that manages NCAR for the NSF. Neither the White House nor the NSF have provided more details about those plans. While NCAR is best known for its weather and climate research, it also works on space science, including studies of the sun and space weather, and is involved in NASA missions in heliophysics. UCAR leadership said at a conference earlier this month, the White House's announcement took them by surprise and they defended their research. Last week, more than 70 members of Congress from both parties signed a letter opposing any move to break up NCAR. A French launch startup is looking into defense applications for its hybrid propulsion technologies. Hyperspace raised 21 million euros, $24.7 million, in an oversubscribed Series A round last month, with plans to use the funding to complete a suborbital rocket, Baguette 1, that is a precursor to its small orbital launch vehicle, OB1. Those rockets use hybrid propulsion systems the company has developed with plastic fuel and liquid oxygen. The company says defense customers are showing interest in its hybrid motors for other unspecified uses, replacing the liquid oxygen with storable oxidizers like nitrous oxide or hydrogen peroxide. Hyperspace is planning to launch Baguette 1 in the first half of 2026, with the first OB-1 launch set for late 2027. NASA Administrator Jared Isaacman appeared open to alternatives to moving the Space Shuttle Discovery from a Smithsonian Museum to Houston. A provision of the Budget Reconciliation Bill enacted in July directs NASA to perform a space vehicle transfer, widely interpreted to mean moving discovery from the Udvar Hazy Center near Washington to Space Center Houston. In an interview on CNBC Friday, Isaac Mann said NASA was ensuring that such a move could be done within budget and safely, factors raised by critics of the move. If not, he said, we have spacecraft going around the moon with Artemis 2, 3, 4, and 5, suggesting the Orion spacecraft from one of those missions could go to Houston instead and still comply with the law. The Washington Post reports that Isaac Mann reportedly got a second chance to become NASA administrator thanks to efforts by Vice President J.D. Vance. According to a report, Vance worked to smooth the relationship between President Trump and Elon Musk after a falling out between the two in May that led the White House to withdraw Isaacman's original nomination. That included meeting with key members of the Senate Commerce Committee to ensure that, if Isaacman was re-nominated, he could be confirmed quickly. Susie Wiles, White House Chief of Staff, also worked to give Isaacman a second chance. The White House renominated Isaac Mann in early November, and he was confirmed in mid-December. Discover your next mission in the space industry with the Space News Job Exchange. Visit jobs.spacenews.com to find top aerospace roles and connect with leading employers. And for employers, use discount code J-O-B-E-X for 15% off your next purchase. In other news, Xinhua reports that China launched a mapping satellite overnight. A Long March 4B lifted off from the Juquan Satellite Launch Center at 11.12 p.m. Eastern and successfully placed the Tianhui 7 spacecraft into orbit. The satellite will be used for mapping and land surveys, Chinese media reported. Reuters reports that Chinese launch startups will have an easier path to going public. 
The Shanghai Stock Exchange said Friday that it will exempt Chinese reusable launch companies seeking to perform IPOs on the tech-focused star market from some of its requirements. The exchange said it will focus on technological milestones rather than profitability and minimum revenue requirements for such companies. Companies that are involved in major national space projects will also get priority from the exchange for going public. Share your company's news with the entire space industry through Stellar Dispatch, the press release service from Space News. Learn more and use discount code SD2106 for 15% off when you submit yours at spacenews.com slash Stellar Dispatch. India TV reports that India plans to complete a third launch pad at its major spaceport in the next four years. The director of the Satish Dhawan Space Center said the third pad will be used for supporting launches of larger vehicles and payloads. The spaceport currently has two pads used by the PSLV and LVM-3 rockets. The Indian Space Agency ISRO is seeking contractors to build the third pad. NASA is preparing for two spacewalks at the International Space Station in January. The first spacewalk, scheduled for January 8th, will be by NASA astronauts Zena Cardman and Mike Finca, who will prepare the station's power system for the installation of a new set of solar arrays. A second spacewalk on January 15th involves other maintenance work, including replacing a camera and installing a new navigational aid. NASA said it will select the astronauts for the second spacewalk at a later date.